Good evening, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is a very exciting, uh, short and sweet parashat lechlecha. We know that Avraham, his name was Avram, but at the same time they changed it to what? Avraham. They added a hey. Now, where did this name come from, and how did it change? Listen closely, like this. Take the words. Listen. Take the words of Avram. Aleph bet resh mem. If you scramble the letters, if you scramble it, I'm going to give you a pasuk that we say. Rabot machshavot belev ish. Stop right there. Rabot machshavot belev ish. The first letters of each one of those spells out Avram. Now, now, what does that teach us? Terach, when they were naming Avraham, Avram, you have to understand, he, his father, Avram's father was, was like a big wholesale dealer for, for all the Avodah Zarah and stuff. So he, he named him, Rabot Mashvalish, you Avram is, you know, I want you to be the, the person uh, to, to do things on your own. That's what he wanted. Because it was all Avodah Zarah back then. The Yetzirah of Avodah Zarah back then was a tremendous, tremendous Yetzirah. It goes so much so that Chazal teach us that there was a time in history the Rabbanim got together and they took away the Avodah Zarah. They took away the Yetzirah of Avodah Zarah. They took it away. It was just too much. Too many people were falling. Too many people were getting crazy about it. So you could just imagine what it was. There was even by King Menashe when, when he was uh, Avodah There was one rabbi, he says, tomorrow we're going to speak about King Menashe, what he did with Avodah Zarah. He did Tshuva at the end, but it, King Menashe, what he did with Avodah Zarah. That night, uh, King Menashe had, uh, uh, came to, to this rabbi in a dream. And he told him, if you were, if you were at my era of Avodah Zarah, the Yetzirah, you would run yourself do Avodah Zarah. Where can I do Avodah Zarah? That's how strong the Yetzirah was. In any case, that was his name coming from. Rabbot Mashavot of Ish. That let his name come. That a human being. Oh, it's you. It's you that do, does things. What happens? If you look in the Torah, there was a very famous uh, war between four kings and five kings. The four kings defeated the five kings and part of the five kings was King Sedom. Part of uh, King Sedom was, was, was Lot was in Sedom. Abraham goes ahead and saves, uh, saves, uh, saves the Lot. And he wins the war. Now the king Sedom says, wow, you did all this, I'm ready to give you everything. Abraham says, I don't want nothing, not even a shoelace. He says, why? It's because if Hashem promised me he's going to be wealthy, I don't want anybody thinking that it was you who made me the wealth. Borei Olam will give it to me. You don't have to give it to me. So over there at that moment, what Abraham Avinu did, he elevated the whole concept of emunah. In the beginning, you see Abraham is bringing people emunah, emunah, emunah. Now is a big test for Abraham. Imagine now the king says, take everything. Take everything. You're going to be wealthy. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. Abraham says, I want everybody to know that you're not giving me the wealth. And it will be a Baruch Hu that's giving me the wealth. And he promised me, I don't want anybody thinking it was from you. I want everybody to know that it was directly from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And therefore, I'm sorry to say, I do not want to take it right now. I want to teach the people that if it's, it's going to come directly from Borei Olam. He brought the Emunah in a level where it's not just having Emunah, oh, Hashem exists. It's Emunah level where Hashem exists in your entire life, on every aspect of your life, every move that you make. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there with you. And that's why Hashem, right after the whole incident of, of the, the war and that happened, that episode, what does He do? Avraham, we're going to change your name to Abraham. Later on, you see in the Psukim, you're going to get a lot of reward. We're going to add a hey. Hey stands for the letter of Hashem. Hey, that you put God in your life. So much so, where even the wealth you didn't want to take, so therefore you want it directly from Hashem. Now, what's the end of the Pasuk? Don't think it's me, it's this, it's that. It's the Hashem. It's the it's the, it's the it's the it's of Borei Olam that directly, and that's why exactly Hakadosh Baruch Hu put his hey in, in the name of Abraham Avinu to teach us that you know, there's different levels of emunah.
The level of emunah Avraham Avinu was, uh, was teaching us. Not have emunah. Everybody has emunah. Hashem exists. But you know where emunah starts? When you don't understand. When you don't understand things, that's when emunah starts. Wow, what is this? I don't know. But it's all Hashem. And this is the level of Avraham Avinu teaching us emunah. Shalema hashkacha pratit.